Let's talk about kids' cartoons. Now, when I was young, cartoons were fun and sometimes educational. Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny taught us all the joys and sorrows of Wagnerian opera. These days, kids in Australia delight at the antics of Bluey and Friends. But today in America, well, have a look at what passes for entertainment for the kiddies these days. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. Tilled this land from sea to sea to sea. First there was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. Then Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four million strong. Fighting for America's freedoms, even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the systemic prejudice, racism, and white supremacy. Hey, kitties, can you spell critical race theory? Yes, that's a recent episode of the Disney show, The Proud Family. Now, Disney, of course, is one of the leading purveyors of politicized children's entertainment, and the executive producer of Disney's kids' shows has admitted to trying to sneak a queer agenda into their programs wherever they can. Seriously, won't someone think of the children? 